Okay, folks, so additive and subtractive machining and lasers, we're learning. This is the LaserTech 65. There's a different machine that we're gonna go look at in a minute, which is the LaserTech 65 3D. What's the difference? This one is purely subtractive. So it's gonna use the machine, typical machining strategies to subtract. It's also then gonna use a laser to subtract or remove more material. And here are some cool examples of where you're able to do, do dye work where you're able to put different textures and finishes. Uh, a great example is that football half. I'm not sure it's coming out that well on camera. Interesting process, kind of a one and done. We can see this texture plate right here giving you all the various different finishes, whether it's cosmetic or you know, practical. Okay, there you can see the laser working on the center left. It looks like this is actually just built on a monoblock 65. All right, folks, we are with... I'm Thomas. Thomas, and so... From fan Thomas Engineering. Thomas Engineering. From Thomas, yep. yep. Cool. Fan of the channel, and you guys are actually trying to understand the laser tech and what it could do for what you guys do, which is... Uh, we make the tools that make pills. Tools that make pills. Yep. A bunch okay. Of dye tools that make pills. Medical pills. Your Tylenols. Uh, yeah, exactly. Centrums. Cent vitamins. Okay. So you guys do a lot of machining on hardened steel. Yeah, A2, A2, D2, D3. Yeah. We have our own heat treat furnace, everything. Okay. Yep. You do that as hard milling, or do you do it in a needle state, then heat treat, then? I'd like to do it hard milling, but we're not doing that yet. Okay. Yep. You could. Yep. Okay. Interesting. A lot of hard turning, stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe. Right. We do a lot of grinding. Okay, so you do do grinding after? Definitely. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, mirror finish polishing, all sorts of yeah. So you care about texture and finishes, which is where this could come in? Possibly, yeah. We're kind of looking at this machine to see if we can get a high mirror finish okay. um, after it's done doing its thing. Yeah. So the part that makes the fill, the, the surface, you know, the surface of the centrum has to be super shiny. Otherwise, when you're pressing all the powder ingredients together, it uh, pulls apart. So yeah. you need a high mirror finish to create that. Yep. So it's, it's more about the functionality of the mold and less about the aesthetics of the pill? Interesting. So I was trying to, I was sitting here a few minutes earlier, I was trying to understand, I mean, clearly this tool, this machine can actually do traditional machining, but I was trying to figure out where it parks the head. This is a hybrid sheath machine. So this can actually have this laser head come out of the machine. It parks back over here. Sorry. So that gets added into oh, the machine. Okay. You drop the load layers right on there and manually pull it out. Okay, so it's not a AGC, it's not an automatic process. It's an automatic cycle, but it does require manual. Load. Okay, okay. So what the prospective customer and the DMG rep are talking about here is the balance of time and tooling cost. With the trade-offs being that you can use relatively expensive consumables like tooling or even micro tooling to get the surface finishes you want, or you can go the extreme other way, which is to use the laser. It doesn't have the same consumable cost, might potentially take longer, at least with the current technology, or you can do a hybrid of the two, machining down to a certain level or a certain finish, then handing it off to the laser to do that finishing surface roughness sort of work, whether again, you're looking for a textured look or whether you're going for a really smooth and finished look. The DMG app sky was also explaining this idea of sort of turnkey mold making where you're gonna be able to use this hybrid machine to machine out the mold, but then rather than having to remove that and either set it up in a new machine, a different machine, a polisher, a grinder, an EDM, or even hand labor, you're able to use the laser that's built into this machine to then do that finish work, not have to deal with the labor, the risk, you're gonna get a more reliable result and you're not gonna to have to do with new setups and new offsets. Switching things up to truly additive and hybrid manufacturing. This is the LaserTech 65 3D. This is a machine that's able to deposit metal down. Just absolutely mind blowing and amazing how this machine can build up surfaces in a five axis workflow and then come in and machine them back down. Take a look at this footage. There's two pretty amazing takeaways that we learned from this event. And these are the kind of breakthroughs that have the potential to really change the way the world works, or at least the manufacturing world works. This machine can print multiple materials. 
let that sink in. You're about to hear an example of NASA using copper and Inconel. There's examples of using various grades of magnetic and non-magnetic metal. You'll see an example here in a second, as well as something like a cutting tool where you can have mild steel body or different material around the periphery or wear edges of the tool. Think about how industrial design and manufacturing designs will change if you could basically make bespoke materials throughout a part. Okay, folks, this is amazing. It's an example of using mixed, well, how did you describe it, mixed metal? So, gradient alloys. So, Great. we're taking two different metals and we're mixing them back and forth. And so, each layer is a different composition. So, on the uh, on the top here, we start with carbon steel, and at the bottom, it's stainless steel. Not magnetic. And yeah, so it switches from magnetic to non-magnetic, and as you slide it across, you can actually feel that change as you know, the composition changes from one to the other slowly. So literally, as you push this down, it's no longer magnetic. So you can see here, we're not magnetic at the bottom, we are at the top, but if you switch to another side of the part, that's changed. It's not magnetic at the top, and it is at the bottom. So you are yeah. it's not even that you have to commit to a whole layer, you're able to right. change this in three dimensions. Yep. We can Amazing. command it just like any other command to the machine on what sort of percentage you want of each material. Can you um, share what you were just telling me about NASA? Uh, so with NASA we were using bimetallic uh, components so we started with a copper core, machine those features into the copper core and then deposit an inconel structural jacket around it. So now we have those entrapped uh, features right. that were no longer accessible. But have been machined. But have been machined. Right. So you couldn't produce it traditionally because right, right. you'd have zero access. So you're taking a multi-component, multi-material part and turning it into one single part. Yes. That's awesome. It's really cool. Thanks. What was the second thing that really blew us away in rethinking how future manufacturing can work and how this technology could be disruptive? There's an example of a major auto manufacturer who's using this technology, the laser tech hybrid manufacturing, in an automated manner to bring in worn out or damaged stamping dies and stamping tools into a workflow that will scan the mold. It will analyze and find defective areas, bring it into the CNC machine, machine away those affected areas that need repaired, use the laser tech to build those surfaces back up and then re-machine them back down to finish. And it's able to do that all automatically without human intervention. That is amazing. We had a ton of fun at this event. Card here to the video where we focus on the CNC and the subtractive side of this world with the lathes and mills and mill turns and so forth. But really, so exciting. What an awesome time to be alive, to be at what's gonna be the forefront of the various additive and hybrid manufacturing technologies. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed. Take care, see you soon.